Welcome to Email Ninja Trading Video 3 Inbound Email Process Ohio. Ohio stands for Only Handle It Once. We often read an email or see an email and read the subject or read part of the body and then we can't handle it or we can't do something with it now but we know we need to do something with it later or it's just going to take too much of our time so we leave it in our inbox and then we have thousands of read in emails in our inbox that we haven't done something with and then someone at the other end is expecting a reply to us it causes a great deal of stress and angst and things of that nature so the idea is that you only handle an email once how do you do that well when you open it up you decide what you're going to do with it if you can respond to it and be finished with it you reply to it and when you reply to it you use the um, etiquette that we outlined in video number two which is the inbound email etiquette if you don't need to reply to it get rid of it uh, we don't recommend that you use multiple folders because filing them emails away into folders takes extra time and finding them in the correct folder takes extra time uh, you can either delete the emails and just never empty your deleted items or you can create a folder called processed or general or whatever you want to do with it and slide the emails in there and then use the great search function that now comes with Microsoft Office to find those emails if you don't have time to handle emails that are in your inbox don't look at your emails just because the window pops up doesn't mean you have to handle it and if you just don't have time set aside some time every day to answer your emails and ignore your inbox otherwise now if you've got customers that require immediate response that's another thing but in general you can say I'm gonna answer my emails once every couple of hours statistically they say it takes 14 to 16 minutes to get back into the groove of whatever you were doing after you answer an email so let's just say I have an email and I'm finished with it all I have to do is grab this email from here and drag it into the appropriate box whether it be deleted or general if it is an email that I got into and it's part of my regular routine and I need to do some research or I need to do some uh, data lookup and I need some time to reply to it and I want a reminder that I need to follow up on that email from within the email I can schedule a follow-up for this particular email by clicking the red flag and I can say I need to follow up with it today tomorrow this week next week no date I particularly like to use custom so I pull up a um, the custom dialog window here I pick the date I want to have followed it up by and then I check the reminder box and I click OK and what this does is it creates a reminder in my follow-up folder that I can go back and look to look at these uh, emails at a later date I mentioned turning off the notifications if the notifications are a distraction and you know every time that little sound pops up or the little window pops up you're going to jump on your email and get distracted by it it's not difficult to turn it off in Outlook 2010 and 2013 and higher uh, the process is simple as clicking file and then options and then under mail there is message arrival and here is where you turn off the play the sound and change turn off the change the mouse pointer and turn off the envelope icon and turn off that little pop-up window that points out the fact that you've gotten a new email this process or concept is new uh, it takes some time to get used to but once you do you'll find that you're spending a lot less time answering emails than you need to be as always if you have any questions or need help turning off your notifications with your particular version of Outlook, you can always reach out to the tech support guys at O Corporate and we'll give you a hand with it.